Hello guys, welcome to my channel and to my last Christmas video in 2022. I've been wanting to try painting on wood for quite some time now and thought Christmas would be the perfect occasion because I've seen so many cute wooden DIY ornaments on Instagram and Pinterest throughout the last years that made me want to try to make some. Therefore, I tried to recreate my favorite ideas from Pinterest, so grab a cup of tea and paint along if you like. Also, I added timestamps, so feel free to jump right to the design that you're interested in. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's talk about the materials first. You will need some wood slices, obviously. Mine are about 9cm big and actually came with pre-drilled holes and some yarn, which is pretty convenient. And you will also need some brushes as well as acrylic paints in different colors. Let's start with the easiest one first and make a Santa ornament. Paint the lower section of the wood slice white and the upper section red as I do here. However, leave some space in between. You might need two coats to get full coverage. The wood kind of absorbs the paint, which is pretty nice since everything dries pretty quickly and you don't have to wait for long until you can add more layers. Then add two dots as eyes and either add a pom-pom or a red dot as a nose. And there we have Santa. Let's continue with a simple nature scene. Start by painting the background light blue. Then use a lighter shade of blue to paint some hills. I started with the one on the front, which wasn't too smart, so I would recommend to paint from the back to the front. Use white paint to add some highlights and the background color to add some shadows. Then mix a really dark green and add some trees. When the paint is dry, take some white and add some lines on the trees to indicate the snow on the branches. And you can add snowflakes as well. The next idea is very simple but super cute. First, paint your wood slice white and let the paint dry. Depending on the paint you're using, you might need a second coat to get a nice coverage. Then take a pencil and outline a penguin. The shape is basically an oval in the bottom with two intersecting smaller ovals above that look basically like the top half of a heart. Also add the eyes as well as a little triangle for the beak. Now all you gotta do is coloring the penguin. The next one is a little more complex, but broken down into the individual steps, it's absolutely manageable. Start by painting the background dark blue and let it dry. You don't need to cover the whole area since we'll be painting the bottom white. Then use some light blue and add some shadows in the snow. Use a very dark green to paint some trees and don't worry if they don't show up that well on the dark background, they will look amazing once you added the snow on the branches. Next we'll be painting a little house. With dark brown, paint a rectangle with a triangle on top. While waiting for the paint to dry, you can already add some snowflakes to the painting. 
Afterwards, add a snowy roof as well as a door and some windows to your house. You can add some details with a lighter brown to make the door stand out a little more and that's it. And the last idea is again a pretty simple one. Color the background light blue and let it dry. Next, outline a polar bear by drawing an oval shape with two small intersecting circles on top. Then color the bear white. On dry, outline a polar bear face and color it in. Next we're going to paint the fairy lights and I'm using mostly acrylic markers here, but you really don't need them. You can just keep using your paintbrushes. Just paint some black lines and then add small ovals in various colors. In the end you can add some snow and the little polar bear is ready for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm wishing y'all wonderful holidays and see you in the next one. Bye!